My name is Missy LeBlanc. I am a Métis, Nehio, and Polish curator, writer, and researcher. I am currently based here in Mokinsis, Calgary, and I am originally from and have ancestral ties to Anasquichi, Wasquehegan, or Edmonton. My name is Audrey Espada. My background is in anthropology, and I was an archaeologist for a long time. I am currently based in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I'm studying at the University of Winnipeg. For this project, there will be two research interns from the University of Winnipeg that will be working on the pillar that is looking into the BIPOC staff in cultural organizations. Being a person of color, I am half Puerto Rican, half Filipina. And in my experience working in museums, you just don't see people like me in admin roles or even full-time staff roles. There are very little BIPOC staff in general and in particular in leadership. Growing up, you know, I didn't really go to a lot of arts and cultural institutions just because like my family didn't feel comfortable in those places and it was never presented as that they were welcoming to all. One of my major career and research interests is looking at representation in museums, in art galleries, even artist-run centers. And why is there a lack of good representation of BIPOC communities. Why are we limited to non-managerial staff most of the time? Like, why is it that we aren't given, you know, positions of power in the arts, in museums? So, and where does that come from? There's a lot to contend with when you're working with predominantly white institutions. There's a lot of trauma involved in just living in a colonial capitalist society, but then also working in a very colonial and white institution. There's added trauma on that and there oftentimes leadership don't know how to work with uh, like BIPOC artists or BIPOC staff in a respectful and caring way. And I hope that this qualitative framework that comes out of this research can, that organizations can use to be able to pinpoint where they're going wrong. Um, that's a big part of what I wanted to use this study for. In terms of qualitative research, I wanted to look at BIPOC staff members at artist-run centers, and where do they fall, essentially? Are they in full-time positions? Are they part-time? And what is their impression on that and the communities that they work in? And how does that affect impression of the arts on these communities? In terms of how we will be dividing up the work, I will be taking the first half of this research and residence internship. I will be basically setting up the methodology. I'll be looking at different artist-run centers that we can pair with, who we will interview. I will be setting up like the questions. I'll basically be doing a lot of the organizing on the methodology end of it. Basically, I'll set it up and Missy can knock it down. I will most likely be the only one be, uh, that is assigned as the research and residence with the organization uh, that will be conducting the interviews and surveys. I mean, there will, there will be some overlap uh, so we can collaborate together and I can update her on what I've already set up. The arts organizations that I am looking to work with should be based on what is now known as the Canadian Prairies, so in the provinces that are currently called Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. Most of my experience is based here in Alberta, and I have a very good understanding of the arts sector across the prairies. Missy and I are taking an anti-oppressive approach. We are trying to be as transparent as possible. That is our main goal, because we want to make sure that the info is out there for them to comment on, but also keep in mind privacy issues. And then we'll come back together in June and we'll do analysis and pre uh, present our findings. So my hope is that at the end of this, uh, these prototypes for qualitative frameworks of evaluation will be able to be utilized by organizations so that they can change their policies and practices so that BIPOC staff don't have such a difficult time working within those organizations and for those organizations.